All right, in this video, we're just going to quickly review the two types or the two ways to think about division facts. We're going to think about partitive and quotative. Now, quotative is often also called measurement. So we got the two kinds, partitive and quotative. So let's uh, do a quick look at um, partitive. Now, partitive, you'll remember, uh, you've got in this case, we have 36 objects, so I drew 36 dots. And partitive means we're going to take that, those 36 dots, and divide them up into four parts, into four columns, four groups, four piles. That's what partitive means. So uh, let's just do it. And then, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just literally, uh, I don't know, how are we going to do this? Let's do buckets. One, two, no, I don't like that. Let's just separate them. So I'm going to say, okay, one goes here, one goes here, one goes here, one goes here, and I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to say, okay, here's these go here. You see what I'm doing? I'm creating buckets. So here's one bucket, here's another bucket. Here's another bucket and here's another bucket and I'm just going to start sorting these babies out one two three four and I'm just going to keep going here and I'm going to see <laughs> in post-production can I speed this along goodness gracious I really hope I can whoa um, there we go and I'm just putting I'm just sorting these 36 dots one into each bucket. I'm just going to keep going and going and going until I figure out out of those 36 dots how many goes into each bucket. I am getting there. I'm just kind of grabbing a dot and moving it into a bucket and yay it's looking good. The last three. Oh whoa and I made my buckets the perfect size and I'm just going to shrink this baby up so that we can see it a little bit easier. And when we take our 36 dots and when we sorted them into their four buckets, we can see that inside each bucket there are nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in each bucket. So now we know that 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. Whoa! I forgot. Jeez, all my phones and everything's beeping and it caused me to get all messed up here. 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9 because that's telling us uh, each of the four buckets is going to have 9. So we could write it as a multiplication. We could say 9 times what equals 36. And of course the answer is 9. All right, so now that's partitive. Now, remember the other definition of division or the other way to think about it is quotative. And so let's squeeze that quotative in here. And quotative is basically saying, take your 36 objects and sort them into piles of four. So we're gonna just circle piles of four. So there's a pile of four, there's a pile of four. I'm gonna squeeze that in, there's a pile of four. Oh my goodness, well, how do we do this? There's a pile of four. Um, one, two, there's a pile of four. Pile of four. Let's see, how can I do this in a nice tidy way? There's a pile of four. There's a nice little pile of four and a nice little string of four right there. And then the idea is with quotative, is saying, okay, well, how many piles did you make? So we could say, because we know each pile is going to have four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so sure enough, we got the answer of nine. That's kind of what we were hoping for, weren't we? So we know that 36 divided by four is equal to nine because, uh, we made nine groups. And then we can change that as our multiplication. We could say 
4 times what is equal to 36? We could say 4 times 9. So that's a quick review of the two kinds of uh, division, two ways to think about division. We've got, um, we've got the partitive and we've got the uh, quotative. Partitive means you have your 36. You know how many groups, you just don't know the size of each group. Quotative is you got a bunch of stuff and you know the size of each group. Each group is four, but you don't know how many groups you're going to need. And that wraps up this quick review on the two kinds of division.